Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Mizuguchi's Osaka Elegy in 1936. Once again from this set, um, and actually one of the last ones to review in this. Of course I'll be reviewing um, the story of the last Um that's the last one of course on this set. The only Mizuguchi that I absolutely adore at the moment, um, of course, that could easily change, um, you know, with the Getsu, um, I also have the criteria of that, and of course, yes, you know, films like Sancho the Bailiff, um, I've got many, many more acclaimed works uh, to kind of visit. Um, now this film, um, you know, it's in this set here, of course, um, right here, um, and yes, it's considered by uh, Mizuguchi to be his first serious effort, um, kind of like a companion piece, Two Sisters of the Gion, um, which of course was the same year um, it was released, and yes, um, you know his work um, so far, you know, it's, it's been it's been interesting. Um, I think, as I say, the only one that I really loved was uh, Chrysanthemums. Uh, you know, I think at times his style, um, you know, in these early ones especially, um, you know, for me and even New Tomorrow, really um, kind of hinders the film at times. Um, and I think, you know, just too detached from me. Um, you know, it's not an Ozu film. As I said before, it's a very, very different style altogether, um, and it just kind of limits my, you know, at times my, my investment to the characters. Um, also, in terms of characters, I don't find them to be the best written characters. You know, I think there's definitely issues there. Um, just overall, many, many aspects just limiting, you know, my kind of investment um, connection to the films. Um, and although they do really explore, you know, powerful themes, um, you know, just as, just as kind of, um, you know, similar sort of themes as Ozu's, basically, and at times... Darker, of course, um, just for me, they don't affect me as much, um, and, you know, nowhere on the level of Ozu, um, but yes, this film is definitely better um, than sort of the Gion, um, I think, again, it's a good film, um, you know, it involves many, many different themes that are very, very similar to um, Sisters of the Gion, um, you know, but a telephone operator, um, basically, turns to prostitution, um, you know, once she's basically fired um, from, from this company, this drug company. And yes, of course, it involves, you know, father, um, daughters, um, and of course, this kind of romance that goes on in the film, um, you know, it's very, very short once again, around about 70 minutes once again. Um, so yeah, it, I'm not going to get into the plot, you know, that's the kind of, the gist of the film, or the kind of things it explores um, once again. And, you know, of course, um, a feminist film once again, um, you know, very, very, very interesting to see, um, you know, and of course, it's... The themes, as I say, are always very interesting to see, you know, Mizuguchi films, um, you know, it's very, 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 you know, on paper very powerful, um, but, you know, once again I feel that this film, um, it only is good for me, I think, yes, it's better and more invested in the, sort of the Gion, um, but, again, it's held back for me by the, the, the kind of, the style of the film, um, I think sometimes this works better, um, the Sister of the Gion, it is more focused, um, I think it is more kind of, the framing somehow is definitely better in this film, um, you know, compared to that. You know, I think Utamaro has better framing and stuff, um, and of course, you know, Chrysanthemums, um, you know, that really has wonderful framing. Um, that's where he really got it right for me, um, but you know, I was just, I was invested in that film from start to finish. Um, this one, again, unfortunately does have lulls, um, you know, where I just didn't really, didn't really get that engaged with the film. Um, it is, again, quite flat at times, um, but you know, I think... Definitely better than, the, as I say, than the Gion. Um, the cinematography in this one is much, you know, kind of similar to, um, you know, Sisters. Um, but you know, I think just a bit more, a bit more tuned, a bit more kind of, um, you know, kind of has a better flow to the film. Um, you know, the editing is better here, I think. Um, and actually, I really love some of the shots in this one. Um, the opening shot, of course, mirrors the ending. Um, I really love that, of course. Um, and just the overall. The overall, you know, story for me is just a bit more engaging um, than Sisters, and kind of, I think the characters um, were more compelling here. Um, you know, it was it was something I got, I definitely did get, you know, invested in um, certainly early on, and then again at the end, you know, it has a bit kind of in the middle where it's kind of mm, a bit flat, you know, once again, and um, you know, I think, you know, it has got some moments where I just, you know, I think could could easily have been better. Um, you know, I think the framing once again. Too far back at times um, for me, you know. I think the camera is just placed too far back um, from a lot of the characters. It can work wonderfully, um, you know, in cinema. But for me, some of these Mizuguchi films um, just it just really limits my enjoyment uh, because the framing, you know, within the frame, I think um, you know a lot of these films they're not like Ozu films where you know for me I find you know something in, in all these frames, you know, and I'm always com compelled visually. Um, you know, a lot of the time. You know, it's kind of, there's, there's not much camera movements at times, um, there isn't too much, kind of, you can see from the characters at times, because it's so far back, but there's not too much to kind of um, take in, you know, at times. 
with the actual framing, what is in that frame, what is in the picture, um, you know, because that's what cinema is, as Scorsese says, what is in the frame, what is not in the frame, um, you know, and at times it just doesn't compel me enough um, to kind of you know, keep me kind of really connected to the picture, um, you know, I think, but you know, it has got a better script, I feel, um, it has got some engaging moments, some really, you know, powerful moments, um, I really like this romance that kind of developed on the sidelines, one of the main characters, um, you know, there's a lot of kind of twists and turns in this one. Um, you know, can, you could say it's a bit, it's a bit convoluted at times. Um, but you know, I think mostly I was, um, you know, following the story. Um, certainly, it's just at times it was a bit flat again. Um, you know, but I think definitely a step up. Um, you know, from my last review, Sisters of the Geon. Um, but again, not quite as good as Do Tomorrow um, and his Five Women. But again, um, you know, this is a solid outing. Um, I think the editing is, is definitely good. Um, it's got some. Really nice um, kind of camera movements in this. The tracking shots, um, I think the lighting at times is very good. Um, you know, it's very, very atmospheric. Um, there is times where, you know, I think it's, it's mainly to do with the transfer as well. The transfer to this film really is bad. Um, you know, it, did, it definitely wasn't good. Um, uh, but, you know, I think at times as well within the picture, I think it's a bit too dark. Um, you know, I think at times it, it's, you know, kind of hard to make out. And, and yes, there is some scenes where it's meant to be, and I think, you know, outside with the shadows and stuff, it's very effective. Um, other times it's just really, really hard to see, um, to actually make out what's going on. But, you know, I think overall this film is definitely solid. It could have been very good if it had just been more more consistent, you know, in its narrative. Um, it's, it's got a better structure, I think, um, than sort of the Gion. Um, you know, it does it does definitely um, deliver a very, um, you know, powerful ending, actually, as well. Um, I did... I did feel, you know, for these characters, especially, you know, our protagonist, um, you know, I really felt for her. She was, she was really good. Um, I think she was kind of, you know, a flawed character, um, but it was just, it was, it was really compelling at times, um, you know, what happened to her and her struggles. Um, it deals with acceptance, this film, um, you know, of course, traditions, um, and of course, the treatment of women and stuff, um, and, it's, you know, as well, um, you know, kind of poverty it really ties in uh, wonderfully here at times. Um, it's, it's very similar, of course. Two Sisters of the Gion, you know, similar themes, as I say, um, you know, it's, it's very interesting to see how Mizuguchi handles, um, you know, the themes of, of poverty, and then, of course, combined with the kind of, um, the roles and stuff of women and how they're accepted at times, it's really, really interesting, um, and actually, it is more effective in this film, um, This Sisters of the Gion, uh, you know, the companion film, as you, as you will, but yes, I think definitely hindered by, um, at times, the writing still, um, the cinematography, um, you know, just the overall the overall narrative, it could definitely be a lot better. Um, but again, it's fine. It, it's, it's not really got any massive, massive flaws, um, this one, I think, apart from, you know, some of the camera um, placements. But really, um, you know, it's definitely not a film that, you know, it's, it's got glaring, glaring flaws. It's just got quite a few um, that bring the picture down. And it doesn't, for me, reach, you know, heights, um, for example, say, that the chrysanthemums are reached, um, you know, emotionally, um, and just as a piece of cinema, you know, visually and all this kind of stuff, um, it just wasn't there. It didn't really move me um, you know, that much, um, but it definitely did affect me um, in, in moments, of course, especially, you know, the ending, it's a really good ending once again. Mizuguchi films, um, even if I don't you know, care about them too much, uh, the ones I've seen, Sister of the Gion mainly, um, the endings are always really, um, you know, kind of, they do pack a punch, um, you know, in that sense, they are very effective. And he does say something, you know, that kind of you can see throughout the rest of the film, leads up to this um so i think he was very good at you know kind of delivering these endings um kind of you could say that they're statements um but you know they're not they're not really forced um, i wouldn't feel that you know it's not they're not really preachy which they could have been um but you know they're quite they're quite sincere in that sense um, but they always kind of make me feel something at the end um you know but it's just sometimes getting there the road to get there is not that compelling um and just doesn't you know not necessarily entertain well yeah you know i think compel basically to me means entertain, um, you know, I think, but there's always, there's always um, mostly um, just it's, it's a bit of a struggle um, to kind of, you know, really stay connected to these films throughout, um, you know, it's another one for me that is good, uh, not great, um, but I would give it a 78%, um, I think that's a fair score, um, just slightly under, you know, Utamaro, but still, I enjoyed it definitely, um, you know, it's definitely better than Sisters of the Gion, um, and yeah, it was impressive, I think, the cinematography was definitely overall very good at times. At time, the other times, a bit flawed um, for me. Definitely not great, um, you know, and it's not, it's not, you know, it's not Ozu, as I say. Um, there is times with the camera. I think, you know, for me, um, personally, it just doesn't, doesn't really, um, you know, kind of 
impressed me the way it's placed, um, you know, at times, and just just the overall kind of framing, the composition, um, you know, in, in relation to the characters, it really is um, an issue for me. I just sometimes I cannot stay connected um, to this overall these narratives, these characters, um, because the camera is just not allowing me to kind of get the emotions um, and combine that with the fact that some of the, the actual film, you know, in terms of the writing and stuff, is a bit flat once again, um, you know, not completely dead or anything, not lifeless, you know, there's many other worse films I've seen um, in that sense. You know, it's a good film, um, it's a good rating I've given it, it's just this sort of thing does hold it back um, from being higher um, because there's all, all these really good themes that, you know, interesting themes that he explores um, and, you know, of course, the endings always come together really well. Um, and of course, yeah, you know, the acting, as with most, you know, kind of Japanese films, classic Japanese films, you know, the acting is always something that really impresses me. Um, it's just a shame I couldn't get more of it out of that. Through, you know, some of the style does hinder that, you know, I think, and just the, the overall script. But yes, yeah, a good film that I enjoyed. I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, it's better than Sisters of the Gion, of course, for me, um, which, you know, is a companion piece. Uh, that's why I've kind of compared it at times. Um, yeah, it, it's just a... It's, it, it's an interesting film, once again, um, dealing with you know issues that are very, very um, kind of important and stuff. Um, but you know, definitely a rocky film. Um, you know, it has got its moments that really do kind of drag at times. You know, they are a bit flat. That, that's the thing. Um, the editing is not that great, and uh, cinematography at times, at times it's really good. Other times it does limit my connection. Uh, but yes, thanks for watching. Of course, um, you know, and of course, once once again, we will be going through. Um, the last film in this collection, um, you know, maybe in the last in the next month or so, um, Story of the Lost Chrysanthemums. Really want to talk about that. I loved the film, um, you know, when I saw it. Um, you know, I think uh, it'll be really, really interesting to see, you know, the comments on that. Um, that's the one that I really loved. Um, and of course, it would get to, um, I could even watch that before, um, re-watching Chrysanthemums. Um, you know, I think it would get to is a film that, you know, I was almost about to watch the other day, um, but it could be within the next week. Maybe next two weeks, um, I'll give that a go. So yes, thanks for watching my review.